Well, good morning, everybody. Cleta the Cheetah here with a quick Friday makeover. I was thinking I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I thought I'd show you just a quick little Friday makeover. I've got a lot to do today, and I got even people on the way fixing to fix my gas. Uh, turn on my gas, so I'll have a stove. I haven't had a stove to cook on since February, but anyway, so I just did my eyebrows. I have my skincare on, and today I'm going to actually use our Silky Setting Powder as my foundation and a little concealer. So I'm going to start out with the under eye corrector, and I'm just going to put it on first. And normally you do your concealer or corrector on top of your foundation, but if you're using powder, you want to use it underneath. And so... I usually just do any place that I feel like is a little bit dark from, you know, skin discoloration or a wrinkle. <laughs> so that is where I put it, you guys. And I don't mind using a little bit of it, right? So I'm just going to blend that in. And you can use the Mary Kay. I actually have this one too. It's the Mary Kay Cream Consult Concealer Brush. The other one is from my friend Lori Hogg, who is a makeup artist, and she gave me a whole set of brushes when I had her in to Valdosta, and it does have my name on it, so it is pretty cute. So you just want to blend it in. I like to blend, blend it in with a brush instead of my fingers because sometimes when you blend it in with your fingers, it's good, but sometimes you get more on your fingers than you did on your face, you know, and so... Sometimes you get a little bit more even application with the brush. Some people put some on the end of their nose. You can do that too if you want that highlighted look right there. That's great. I just think people not. Look at my nose. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so then I'll just see if there's any other like little skin discolorations. There is. I just put a little dab. And then what I'm going to do, this is the Silky Setting Powder in medium beige. So I just shook a little bit in the thing. In fact, I'm going to use it out of the lid. You see all this? So I'm just going to back up a little bit. And this is just with the big all-over powder brush. And I just move it in just like this. I do go down on my throat so that it'll look smooth. And then I'll do a little bit more. And obviously I do like to use um, the matte foundation and the cream powder. But today I'm doing a quick and easy one. So there's your foundation, you're done. <laughs> Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cheek color. And today I'm gonna to use this, this shy blush right here. So I just like to start at the back and then blend it back up. And then I like to take a little bit of the um, highlighter in the glazed and just put right through here and a little bit up there. And then I take the um, contour, which is the latte, and I'm just gonna put it right through here. And usually I do it up on my forehead, but not doing it today. You're not going to see them anyway. Okay, so then we're going to do some eyes, and I'm going to keep it pretty simple because I'm actually going to do a red lip. <laughs> so we're going to do simple on the eyes. I'm going to do this goal status, being that I have this yellow shirt on, and I'm just going to put it all over the base of my eye. And then I'm going to use this biscotti 
and put it under my brow. And then I'm going to use the tried and trusty hazelnut. <laughs> If you don't have hazelnut, you have to get it. It's just like a medium brown matte. It goes with everything. And so if you just look straight, I'm gonna put it right where I want it. Then you can open up your eyes and kind of fill it in. Sometimes if you open it up and do it, then you close it and then you can't see it at all. You're like, well, it's not showing up. So sometimes it's better just to look straight and get it in there just like you like it. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this cinnabar. Just right through here. It's a mat as well. Okay. Then I'm gonna use the Mary Kay blending brush. You have to have one of these, they're the best. And I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, awesome, I'm almost done. And I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use this black waterproof liquid eye, eye uh, liner pen. And I'm not really stretching it. I don't know why I put my finger up there because you really shouldn't stretch your eyelids out, right? I think it just helps me balance it. that looks about even. Good enough, okay. And then I'm gonna use the um, deep brown, Mary Kay deep brown in the eyebrow, I mean eyebrow, in the eyeliner, pencil, just right underneath. As you see, my brows are so, I mean, my uh, lashes are so light, you don't even see them on there. I do have some, but they're pretty light. And then I'm just gonna curl them a little bit. And this, today I'm gonna use the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. And we're just gonna use a couple coats of that. You can kind of go zigzag, get some on the bottom like that. Oh no. And the people are here to do the gas. So I'm gonna have to cut my video short, I think. Watch this, I'm gonna just have to do it really fast and be done. Okay, this is the matte, new liquid. Normally I would line them, but I gotta go. And I gotta put that on a little bit better too. This is called Classic Red. So let's put it on a little bit better.
And there's your look for today. All right. Thanks, everybody. I got to go. <laughs>